Now, I don't know if this is true of anybody else on the planet, but I have more scripts and more photographs and more memorabilia. I'm the only person that didn't go to the hospital in Willie Boy because I went down there before the movie started and I spent a month with the Morongo Indians who live in 110 degrees every day. Anyway, Willie Boy was a uh, Western with Redford and Catherine Ross and they're both very nice people but they only cared so much because they knew they had Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid waiting for them. And all they wanted to do with Willie Boy is get it done. But they both did good jobs. They both did really good jobs. The picture was photographed in 110 degrees. Everybody got sick. It was a tough picture to make. I mean, really tough. I don't know how it came out. Some people like it, some people don't. But anyway, this is the stuff. And I really don't know if other actors save their old scripts or pictures or stuff, but somehow or other, I wound up with this big pile of stuff. I ain't gonna be around forever. I might not be around tomorrow. Everybody is, what, one heartbeat away from no tomorrows? So I figure I'll get all these scripts and all of these pictures, thousands of them, and I'll put them out there for you guys in Memphis and Canada and wherever, because, well, I guess, Hollywood is a strange place if you've never been there before. And I lived my whole life there, so it isn't very strange to me. So anyway, what we have here is a movie. And it's called Willy Boy. And this is the script of Willy Boy. Anything I tell you, I swear on the head of all the children in the world, I'm telling you the truth. This is the original script, and Willy Boy. There's the original. Abraham Polanski wrote it and directed it. Now, Abraham Polanski, when he was young, he did Body and Soul. He wrote it and he directed it with John Garfield they were blacklisted with the communist witch hunt. So Garfield couldn't work and A. Polanski couldn't work for years. But Polanski came back and they gave him a shot and he did Willy Boy. And I think someplace I told you the story about how I got the part. There was another guy set to play the part and I had a job that was going to Europe and I didn't want to go to Europe. I had no intentions of going to Europe. So I went to Universal and I lied. I lied to everybody. I lied to the Black Tower. I went and I lied to Abraham Polanski and I told him what I would do with the part and that I would work for one third the price that the guy that they already hired had. And so Polanski said, well, we've already hired him. It's a difficult situation. He said, call up there in the Black Tower. So I called the Black Tower and I called the big giant boss of the world up there. I imitated Polanski. Hello, Jennings. Jennings. Jennings Lang was the boss. 
I have Robert Blake down here, and I think I've changed my mind. I'm considering him for the part, and I want you to have a discussion with him. I don't really have his accent right because he had, he had more of a European accent. Anyway, I went up there and I hustled him and I got the job. You can see all of my notes. Here's a note from Abe Polanski. He directed it and he also, uh, I think his best movie was Body and Soul he wrote and directed when he was a young man. One of the problems was when Abe Polanski made this movie, he was an old man and it's hard to work in 110 degrees for five minutes, let alone do it from early morning till late at night. Anyway, these are all my notes, personal stuff uh, that you can if you buy this thing, you can look at it and see. There's the real Willy Boy. This is, uh, this is, what is this? <laughs> That's a bill to get my four wheel Jeep in good shape so I could go down there and live with the Morongos. There's Catherine Ross and me. Catherine Ross and me. Me, Catherine Ross running. These are all actor's notes. This is all notes that I'm writing to myself. So I know what the hell I'm doing when I get in front of the camera. All my notes. I know I did this before, because some of this is familiar. I may have even shown you some of this before. Ah. Can you believe it? This poor pathetic actor has to write this much shit to do one page of acting. I must have been very insecure. And this is called a call sheet. And it tells you who's working on what day and uh, what time the call is and all that junk. And it just happens to be in this pile of stuff here. See, it has the production number. Tell them Willie Boy is here and who's working that day. Uh, Willie's working. Lola was Casa Ross. And those are the people that are working. This is the time they have to be on the set and all that kind of junk. It's not junk, but it just is what it is. Now, I don't know why there's a picture of Arlo Guthrie there, but it meant something to me when I was making the movie. I knew him, I knew him quite well for a long time, but he was just a kid when I made that movie. And here's more actor notes. Uh, I'm just telling you what you're getting if you get this thing. These are all just actor's notes. And this is the way I work. Everybody works different, but this is the way I work. That's all actor's notes, personal stuff of uh, how I'm going to make the movie. I, more stuff, personal stuff. Personal stuff. MCA, what is this? That's a letter to me from a guy named Jennings Jalang, who was the big muckety muck. 
Now you see, each one of these relates to a scene. And these are all notes that relate to this particular first day of shooting. And that's the first day of shooting. And you can see I put all my notes on one side and there's the script on the other side. And if you go through this whole script, you can see in each scene, when I want to study at night, I know what scene I want to work on. So that's where I go and I can find it immediately and I can get to it immediately. We don't have to spend a lot of time on this because you guys, maybe one in every million is an actor, so you might be interested in it. But the rest of you are just looking at it, maybe because you ain't got nothing else to look at. But anyway, you're looking at it. When you buy this package, because there's more than one thing, so we'll call it a package. There's the script. This is a lobby card. And in the old days when you went to the movies, they'd take a picture and put it in the lobby and you could look at it. So there's that lobby card. Here's another one. The interesting thing about this picture is I just noticed how worn out my boots are because the whole movie, I was running like a bat out of hell and I wore out my boots till there was nothing left to them. And, and there they are on my feet. I had to patch them six or seven times. Anywhere, there's that. This is in some foreign language a uh, advertisement for the movie. That's me and Catherine running. That's all we did in the whole movie was run. And here's Willie Boy. And there's Willie with Catherine. And we're still on the run. And here's me saying, don't bother me with that goddamn camera, I'm sick of it. And uh, Catherine and I are just fiddling around, playing with each other. So anyway, this is one thing that you can buy. I guess you can buy one picture at a time, or you can buy just a script, or buy the whole thing, or... Uh, turn the television on and look at the movie and say, I ain't buying nothing, this movie stinks. <laughs> Not necessarily, but it's possible. Maybe even probable. I'm gonna get another movie. You just sit right where you are, I'll get another movie. So we got a little more to talk about here.